Welcome back to statistics. Sometimes in a statistical study, we're just interested in uh, a single variable. So for instance, I may be interested in President Trump's approval rating among all voters. The population would be all voters and the variable would be a categorical variable. In other words, does an individual voter approve or disapprove of the job the president's doing? So those kind of studies where we only are really interested in one variable uh, is a univariate study. Uni meaning one and variate uh, referring to variable. So one variable, univariate. But very often we're interested in more than that. We often are interested in the relationships between two or more variables. So for instance, I may be interested in the president's approval rating as it relates to gender. Uh, do men and women differ in their support for the president? That would be an instance in which there are really two variables in play. One of them would be categorical, gender, and the other would be uh, also categorical, approval or disapproval. And we'd like to know if there's a relationship between those two. Studies like that are multivariate. They involve multivariate data, which means that for each individual, you collect uh, information on two or more variables. And those kind of studies are the ones that can determine relationships between variables. And that's very often what we're interested in, right? Uh, gender and uh, political uh, uh, affiliation or say uh, smoking behavior and uh, cancer. So the distinction here is between univariate studies, which just look at one variable, and multivariate studies. Um, and so let's take a look and see what the ebook has to say about this. So we are in uh, module one again. Uh, we skipped uh, 1.5a and we're looking at 1.5b. So that is the uh, relevant section. Let me see if I can get there. There we go. And so uh, we see the usual format here of an introduction, key concepts, and then a bunch of examples. So let's take a look at the key concepts here. Uh, uh, they, all, they call out univariate, bivariate, and multivariate uh, data sets. Uh, bivariate is just a special case of multivariate in which you have precisely two variables. So uh, multivariate, multivariate studies can be bivariate if they just involve two variables, but you can also have multivariate studies that uh, involve more than two variables, and those are, called, those are also multivariate. Uh, the definitions in, uh, are given here. Uh, we've already seen the definitions of population and variable, uh, talk about data. And then uh, they talk about uh, the, the ideas here, univariate data sets, one variable. Bivariate data sets contain information about two variables for each individual. And multivariate data sets contain information about two or more variables for each individual. So uh, let's take a look at a couple of their examples. And let's see, let's look at uh, the first one here, grape production. So uh, this report gave information on uh, grape production for four different types of grapes. And the information is for each type, we're given the tons that were produced in California. And so this would be an example of a bivariate uh, study. Uh, there are two variables involved. Uh, the first one is categorical, the type of grape and it has uh, four different values, right? Red wine, white wine, raisin, and table grapes. And then uh, for each of those, we looked at uh, a second variable, the tons produced in California. And that's a quantitative variable, right? It's in units of tons. So we have a bivariate study consisting of one categorical variable and one uh, quantitative variable. Let's see, I wanted to take a quick look at uh, one other their, uh, example on Jupiter. 
uh, a team of scientists decides to commission a research project to study Jupiter. The study involves taking readings of the surface and determining which elements are present and how they interact with each other. And then they give us a little quote, spectral analysis of Jupiter has revealed that in addition to hydrogen and helium, the planet is made of water, methane, and ammonia. Those elements are in trace amounts. So determine whether the data in the study are univariate, bivariate, or multivariate. Well, this would be a multivariate study, right? Because we're looking at the presence or absence of several different uh, elements, uh, hydrogen, helium, uh, water, methane, and ammonia. So uh, uh, we have uh, several different variables. Uh, in fact, one, two, three, four, five different variables. So this is a multivariate study. The, uh, the homework that you have on this section will give you several scenarios like this and ask you to determine whether the data is univariate, bivariate, or multivariate. So going through all the examples in that section will be helpful as you do that homework, and hopefully this video has been helpful too. Uh, we will be back at you shortly with uh, a discussion of another really important topic, experiments in observational studies and statistics. In the meantime, take care.